Hi there, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how I would approach drawing a word bubble and a thought bubble in Inkscape. Now, a simple way to do this would just be to go up to the object menu, go to symbols. Uh, from the symbol set, click that, choose word balloons, and then just click and drag into the canvas area. And there you have a very simple way to create a word balloon. Uh, what we're, we're not going to do that, we're going to create our own, so let's get started doing that. I'm going to press E on the keyboard to bring up the circle or the ellipse tool. I'm going to draw out uh, something, uh, an ellipse, something like that, or an oval. Now we'll to draw this little piece here, I'm going to use the Bezier Pen tool. So that's B on the keyboard or over here from the toolbar. I'm just going to click anywhere roughly in the middle, left side. I'm going to click and hold down here and move the mouse a little bit to create a curve. I'm going to click in the middle again and drag it out, uh, click and hold and drag it out to create another curve along the bottom. And then I'm going to click where I started from to complete my path. Now it gives it a, a stroke, no fill. Let's change that. We're going to click on the, um, the black swatch over here. And I'm going to shift click on the X to get rid of the stroke for now. Now I'm going to go up to the select tool. You can also press uh, space bar on the keyboard. Ooh, let's go back there to get back to your select tool if that was one of the previously chosen tools. And something like that looks reasonable. Maybe I want to actually rotate that a little bit, something like that. And this point here is a little bit rounded. Let's fix that by pressing F2 or uh, N on the keyboard in Inkscape 1.0. Or you can go here from the toolbar and select the, the node edit tool. And now I'm just going to click on this node down at the bottom. I'm going to make it a corner node by clicking this button up here. And now I'm just going to drag this handle all the way back here to create a nice sharp point. And something like that looks pretty reasonable to me. So I'll press space bar to go back to my select tool. And you know, it's close to what I started with, not exact. We could, uh, we could go into the node edit tool again and sort of reshape that a little bit if we wanted. Um, for, the, for this purpose, I'm gonna call that good enough. Now what we wanna do is we wanna join this piece here to the main oval. So I'm gonna shift, I'm gonna click one and then I'm gonna shift click on the other one, just like them both. And then I'll use control plus on the keyboard to union them. You can also do that from up here at the path menu, union. And so we have the basics of a word bubble. In my example here, I've got a stroke around it, no fill, so let's do that. I'm gonna shift click on this black swatch to give it a, a stroke. I'm gonna simply left click on this X to get rid of the fill. And if this isn't coming up, you know, to something to your liking, you can edit those that uh, stroke setting by Control Shift F on the keyboard to bring up the fill and stroke dialog box. And with it selected, you can just go and change the width. So let's bump that down to say three. I think that's what my other ones were. Yeah, and I'll just resize this a little bit. So there we go. We can press T on the keyboard to bring up our type tool. We can type some clever text. Hello, hello. Let's spell that correctly. And with the select tool, I'm just going to click and drag while holding control to resize that and keep it proportional. And there we are. At this point in time, you probably want to group this all. So just drag, click and drag around at both. Control G on the keyboard will group that. And we're done with our word bubble. Now to draw this thought bubble, similar process. We use the ellipse tool. We draw our base ellipse. And then we just draw a bunch of other ellipses around the perimeter. I'm not doing anything obviously very precise here. You can make yours as fancy and as symmetrical as you want. But for my purposes, for this tutorial, this is good enough. Now to create this sort of uniform uh, cloud shape figure, we just need to use our select tool, click and drag around everything, control plus on the keyboard to union it all. And I have this really crazy thought bubble. So now we just need to create these three little sort of lead in thought bubbles. Again, the ellipse tool we will draw three ellipses of slightly decreasing size. And we'll use our select tool just to move those into place. You know, something like that. Again, we might want to group this. So let's just group it first, control G. And now we'll type some text. And I'm going to say thinking with a question mark. I'm going to press space on the keyboard to get back to my select tool. And I'm going to again resize this while holding control. Put that in the middle. And now I'm also I'm actually just going to select this text, shift click on the thought bubble and control plus to um, Oh, 
actually that shouldn't have worked. Control plus shouldn't do anything and it didn't. It says down here one of the objects is not a path. I meant to group that, so control G. And now I've grouped this. Um, something did change when I hit control plus, just a complete side note here. What happened is that this text object turned into a group. So uh, if you try to union text to something with the control plus or with the path union, it will actually convert your text to uh, to a group of paths. So uh, in this case, it's no longer editable. So that was kind of a mistake on my part. Uh, don't let something like that trip you up. Don't convert it to a path unless that's actually what you want to do. Okay, so that pretty much covers it. We've made a talky bubble, we've made a thinky bubble, and with that, you're armed with the knowledge to go and create your own custom bubbles for whatever purpose you see fit. Hope you've hopefully you found this uh, tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.